hello family welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to turn two months old not less box braids into soft locks so as you can see you guys my hair is really shaggy my braids are damaged i have had these braids for at least two months now so let's get to the video i'm just going to show you guys how my knotless braids look especially at the back before we get to the video so we need to do a little more about these braids i'm just going to start by washing my braids i'm just trying to stay aside a little bit because when i open my shower the first water that comes out is always so cold so i'm just going to shampoo my braids well and condition them well as shown in the video to make sure they are clean i'm just using nice and lovely shampoo and also nice and lovely conditioner you can just use your favorite shampoo and conditioner for, for washing your braids I'll leave you guys to watch this for a little while and I'll be right back So guys as you can see I took time to wash my braids well. I'm not just squeezing the excess water out. 
because my breaths are really heavy right now I feel like I'm carrying a 20 liter jerry can on my head after washing my braids I'm just going to dry them up with a towel as shown in the video so guys in case you you are watching this video and you want to try this hairstyle you can just wash your braids a day before doing your hair I'm just going to cut these braids to bob so let's get started After washing my braids and drying them well, I'm now just going to cut them to shoulder length. I'll arrange them nicely. Akia nani? Ah, si zingine sa zingine wao na ongesio. Zintafanya voice over. But zingine wao na ongea. I'm just going to take my time to cut my braids as shown in the video. The scissors that I was using is really blunt you guys. I think I need a new scissor. But I tried. So after cutting one side you can see I messed some up. So I'm just going to fix them. I'll also cut the other side too and the back too as shown in the video I'm just going to cut the braids on my back and in and my side I'm sorry and then I'm going to be right back so guys I'm back after cutting all my braids as you can see I messed up on some some are long some are short but that's how it, it is while doing DIY so at the back my husband had came to level them up a little bit so moving on we are just going to use five packs of braiding hair number 30 the number that we use while doing the knotless braids so i'm just going to apply some oil on my braiding as uh, shown in the video after applying the oil i'm going to divide my braiding uh, and as you can see that's what i'm going to use I'm also going to use nice and lovely air gel on my roots as shown in the video. I'm just going to apply the gel nicely on my roots because my knotless braids are now loose as you can see. And then I'm going to hold two braids together as shown in the video. And then all I'm going to do is to nicely wrap my braiding hair around my knotless braid as shown in the video. I'm just going to take my time to wrap it really really well and nicely as shown making sure I don't leave any spaces between. So guys just take your time to do this if you love this hairstyle. So guys, I'm not so good at explaining things, but I hope you can see what I'm doing here. So when you reach at that point that your braiding hair is over, like now, I'm just going to add another braiding hair and then I'm going to continue wrapping it around the 
the knotless threads and then when you reach the end of the knotless braids i'm now going to turn back and then i'm going to roll them coming upwards until the braiding hair you are holding is over i hope you can understand what i mean and then i'm going to tie it nicely as shown in the video so that it doesn't unravel I'm then going to just cut it the, to cut I'm just going to cut the extra braiding hair or you can just do it after finishing rolling all your braids but I just prefer doing it in each braid so that is it you guys I hope you, you understood what I said so I'm just going to repeat the process with the other braids as shown in the video. So guys while doing while wrapping the braiding hair around the knotless braids, I realized something that the more you wrap the braiding hair around the knotless braid, the more it becomes tighter. So while doing this you just want to keep it at the in the middle loop not too tight and not too loose I'm just going to do a little more braids and then I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back after doing one side as you can see. And as you can see, I did them so nicely and neat. Just take your time, you guys. This is your hair, you don't have to rush. So I'm then going to do this other side and the back too. I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm just going to pick two pieces of my knotless threads. And then I'm also going to pick br some braiding hair to divide some braiding hair. And then I'm going to roll the braiding hair around my knotless threads as shown in the video. When the braiding hair that you are holding on in your hand is over, you can just pick. You can just pick. I'm sorry, another braiding hair and continue rolling it around the knotless braids as shown in the video until the end of the knotless braids. When you reach the end of the knotless braids, just turn around and. Start rolling your braiding hair upwards as shown in the video. When the braiding hair that you rolled again upwards is over, just tie it nicely so that it doesn't unravel. So I hope you can understand what I'm doing, you guys. That's what I'm doing. Just take your time if you love this hairstyle and you want to try it so guys i'll just leave you to watch what i'm doing and i'll be right back
so guys i'm just going to turn off my camera for a little while i'm then going to do the other side of my hair i'm also going to do the back of my hair so as you can see guys i'm back and i've done the back of my head and also this other side so all that's remaining is these two cup braids that are here so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to repeat the process that I've been explaining in the video really well. So guys, I'm just going to finish the last braid that is remaining right now. So guys, I'm done with all the braids. I'm now just going to cut the extra hair. So just as shown in the video, I'm now just going to lay my edges. I'm using nice and lovely gel to lay my edges. You can just use your favorite gel for this, you guys. So guys, after laying my edges, what I'm going to do now is to use the candle that I'm holding in my hand to remove the extra hair that is remaining to burn them. I don't know if that's the right word for it, you guys, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. So I'm just going to do that. I don't recommend that you do this alone. You can get a friend to help you or anyone else who is able to do so but if you are courageous enough you just can do it yourself with me i'm doing it myself i'm just taking my time do burning <laughs> the extra hair one braid at a time i hope you can just see what i'm doing there so guys, that's what I'm doing. I'll leave you to watch that and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm totally done with my braids. I've burnt the extra air. I've laid my edges, and as you can see, my my soft locks are looking really good. I'd recommend you try this hairstyle if you have some braids or not less braids that you are tired of. So 
it's good so i'm just now i'm now just going to spray them with the olive oil that i have nice and well as shown in the video so guys this is it this is it for me today you guys as you can see let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below you can also like it you can also share it you can also try the style it looks really good it will look good on you i'm positive you can also follow me on my social media pages so see you in my next video bye